Good morning, friendly fish. How is everybody today? It's going to be beautiful outside today, so I hope you get some outside time. Even if you're just sitting outside and reading a book or having somebody read a book to you outside, that would be awesome. So, um, But if you get some exercise, that would be even better. But today we're going to learn a new part in our opening routine, and then we're going to work on the underhand underhand roll. So we're going to have the ball going on the ground, underhand roll. And we'll do some um, core exercises too today, okay? So let's get going, and I'm going to show you the new part that we're adding to our dance, and it is the crossing clap. So you can do it this way, or you can go to your knees, or if that's too hard, you can go here. I just don't want you guys to do this because you know what? When you do that, we're, that's marching. High knees marching. We're not crossing over our body. We have this road, remember, down our body. And we have to cross it sometimes to do our work. So we're going to here, here, or here. Okay, you guys practice. I'm going to show this one and see if you can follow me. This hand to this knee. 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 Good job. Like I said, when we do our dance, if this is still too hard for you, do this. If this is easy for you, do this. Okay? All right. I'm going to put on some music and we are going to do our opening routine. Here we go. All right, here we go. Starfish. Turtle. Starfish. Turtle. Starfish, turtle, one more, starfish, turtle, pick up, pick up apples, or cherries, or lemons, or oranges, good job, now, we're going to pull in our rope, and today, we're, then we're going to push it out, we're going to put these together, pull in your rope, and push it out, pull in your rope, and push it out, and one more, pull in your rope, and push it out. Okay, here comes our new one, cross clap, go, one, two, three, four, nice work everybody. Okay, now we're going to do our booty kick, ready, and straight up, and go, one, two, three, four, five, six, I saw all you getting your hands up and picking your bottoms. Okay, monster walk. Remember, that's on our heels. One, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. Forward, two, three, four. Back, two, three, four. One more time. One, forward, three, four. And back, two, three, four. Woo! Good work, everybody. All right, now we're going to grind. We're going to get that elbow to our leg. One. Two, three, four. Woo! Good work. And now rock and roll hips. Hands here. Go one, two. Other way. Three, four. Nice job. Let me turn this off. Sorry about that. We're going to have to find us a longer song because we're doing so much now in our opening routine. All right. Give yourself a hug and... Down, one, two, three, four, up. Give yourself a hug. Down, two, three, four, and wiggle back up. Yay, we did the whole routine again today. You guys are getting so good at it. I really like the, how hard you're working. All right, now we're going to get our ball. So I have, you should have with you either a sock ball or your own ball or our paper bag ball that we made. 
I think I'm going to use the paper bag ball. And I'm going to show you what I want you to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to put our feet far apart. And we're going to try and roll the ball forward. All right? So go get your ball. And let's try it together with two hands. We're going to roll the ball forward. All right. Okay, everybody practice that a couple times. Roll the ball forward with two hands. All right, now I want you to try it this way. And I'm going to show you two different directions. But you're going to put the ball here, and we're going to roll the ball backwards on the floor. Whoops, mine went way back here. Let me go get it. And let me show it to you from this direction. We're going to roll the ball backwards. Good. And from this direction, we're going to roll the ball backwards. All right. Everybody, whoa, sorry about that. Everybody practice that a couple times. Okay. Now, with two hands, you're doing really good. You're keeping the ball on the ground. I like that. Now we're going to try and keep the ball on the ground with one hand. So we're going to put this here in our hand. We're going to hold the ball. We're going to step forward. We're going to bend our knees, and we're going to roll again. All right. Let me show you that from a different direction. Okay. Have the ball in your hand. You're going to take a step, bend down, and roll. If you can't step yet, that's okay. If you're just rolling like this, that's okay. And if you're taking a step with the same side as your hand and you're rolling, that's a little bit better. And then what we're working toward is taking a step with our opposite foot and rolling the ball. Very nice, everybody. Okay, we're going to take a break from the ball work for a minute. And we're going to work on our some core exercises, all right? So the first one we're going to do, which you guys know from the um, old opening routine, is tummies to the sky. So when I say go, we're going to go tummies to the sky, and then we're going to count to 10 all together and see if we can hold our tummies up for 10 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, stay up high, nine, ten. <gasps> Very good, everybody. That was great. Now, if you remember last time, we learned how to do bridges. So we're going to lay down, or bottoms up. They can be called bridges or bottoms up. Either one. Okay, hang on. My microphone does not like laying down. Here we go. So what you're going to do is you're going to... Lift up your hips. All right? So we're going to lift them up, and we're going to hold them for a count of five, and we're going to do it three times. Are you ready? One, two, three, down. One, two, three, four, five, down. And now we're going to have to six. One, two, three, four, five, six, and down. Woo! Good work. All right. Last one. We have some of you have done this with me before, and some of you have not done this. It's called dead bug. So we're right here, and we are going to put our legs up in the air, and we're going to do what is called dead bug. Here we go. Hands and feet up, and we're going dead bug, dead bug, dead bug. And if you can pick up your head too, that's good. Dead bug. If not, you can leave your head there. Dead bug. Oh, poor bug. Woo! Let's make the bug get alive again, okay? We're going to roll over, and the bug's alive. Yay! Good job. All right. Now what we're going to do, let me get back here so you can hear me a little better, is you're going to get the cups that I um, gave you last week. And um, if you don't have um, the red cups with you, any plastic cups will work. I would like you to have 10, but if you only have five, that's okay too. That'll work. So what we're going to work on is how to build a pyramid. And building a pyramid 
does so many things. One, it's a fun target for our rolling, but also we are learning spatial awareness, we're learning hand-eye coordination, we're going to be using prepositions, and we're going to be crossing the midline. You can, you can do that too. So it, there's a lot of different things that happen when you build a pyramid, all right? So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take four cups and we're going to put them next to or beside each other. All right, just four. One, two, and they have to be close together. Three and four. So four cups that are next to each other. Okay? And now we are going to take our next cup and we're start to build our pyramid, which comes up high. And you guys, I don't have, I didn't, I should have probably gave you a pyramid picture of a pyramid before, but we'll see what it looks like when we get done, okay? So this cup, we're not going to put it on top. We're not going to put it on top of this cup. We're going to put it between these two cups. Do you see that? Not on top, but between, all right? And then we're going to put it between, and then we're going to put it between these two cups, if it's falling down like that, you aren't in between. You're on top. So try and take it and try to put it on the two cups. All right? So between. So it looks like this. When you get those three, we're going to do the next two. Between. Between. Nice work. And the last one on top. Whoa, look at that. We have this shape. It's called a pyramid. We have a pyramid. Yes, you can knock it down. You can flick it. You can push it. You can pull it. Any way you want to knock it down. Ready? Go. Woo! Very fun. All right, now put them back together. And we're going to build another pyramid. You ready? Okay, here we go. One, two, next two, three, right next to it. Four. They're all next to or beside each other, right? And it can touch a little bit. All right, now, the next ones we're not going to put on top, we're going to put between, all right? Between, between, between two cups, between two cups, between two cups. And there's our pyramid again. Yay! Okay, you ready? Knock it down. <gasps> that is so good. All right, now we are going to build our pyramid, and we are going to use it as a target for our rolling our ball. All right, so I'm going to build mine right here. And remember, it's four. Why I'm building mine, you guys can build yours. And then three... And then two, and then one. And parents, when I was talking about reaching across the midline, if the kid, if your kid is only using their right hand, put all the cups on their left side of their body so that they have to reach over to pick them up. Also, I'm doing this with one hand. It may be where they have to use their helper hands, so they're going to have to help and use their hands together because their hands are smaller. And I forgot that. So you might have to use two hands together. So their dominant hand and their helper hand. All right. So now I'm going to go get my ball. I have my paper ball, my paper ball, and my um, sock ball. And I'm going to knock them down by rolling the ball, not throwing, not throwing. We're going to roll. We want the ball to stay on the ground. So watch. I'm going to... Bend my knees and roll the ball. Yay! I knocked him down. Okay, I'm going to build it up. You guys try that. And after you knock it down, build it up again. Whoops. And you can stand up or sit down to do it. Sometimes it's kind of nice to get the kids to keep standing up while they build it. So they're working on, again, balance and core strength. But if they sit down, that's okay too. All right, here comes the next one. I have my ball ready. All right, I'm going to step 
and roll. Yay! Now, as I get better, I'm going to back up. All right? So I'm going to put my, build back up my pyramid. Okay, and I'm going to back up farther. You can't even see me. Let's see if I can move my wall here. All right, I'm even farther away now because I'm getting so good. And I'm going to step, and my ball is going to stay on the ground and roll. Oh, no, I missed. Is it okay to miss? Yes, it's okay to miss. We'll just try again. So I'm going to pick up my paper ball right here. And I'm going to try again. I'm going to make my fingers go right towards the pyramid. Right towards our pyramid. That's a good cue. Fingers right towards the pyramid. So I'm going to roll my ball. <gasps> Yay! I knocked it down right toward the pyramid. Okay. Let's do that just a couple more times. All right? So here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. One, two, and one. Nice work. And back up. If you keep missing it, then go ahead and get closer. Like if it, every time you roll it, ugh, it goes away. So then you can try and roll closer. I don't want you to knock it down like this. That's not fair. And that's not fun. Don't knock it down like this. Back up. And you're going to roll. Nice job. If you need to, you can put a piece of tape or a, um, a uh, something, that, you know, not sticky if you're on your carpet, but something that marks a spot so that your child knows. Or they stand on one of their shapes. I can show you that. So, Or a paper plate. I think I'll use a paper plate. I have that right here. You can have your child stand on, you guys can stand on a paper plate, and that's how you know where you have to be. I'm going to build my pyramid up again. One, two, three, four. Next two, on top, beside, 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 or in between, between, and the top one, between the top two. There we go. All right, so this time... If I keep going to try and throw or knock them down with my hand, I can stand on a marker like this. It's my paper plate. And then you know you cannot leave the marker. Now, you may not get any steps when you do this, but at least you're getting everybody far away from the pyramid. So, you guys feet on here and step off with one foot. Leave the other foot on and roll. Yay! I knocked it down again! Woohoo! So those are some ways that you can play with our red cups um, and rolling them down. The building of the pyramid is just as important as knocking it down. So you can practice building the pyramid when you're sitting on at the table. It could be a tabletop activity. You can build a, your pyramid up there and knock it down with your hand or practice poking to knock it down so you're using your pointer fingers. Um, you can practice, um, um, you know, using your left hand and your right hand. Uh, you try and get them, put your pyramid over here and then have the, your child knock it down on this side or build your pyramid over here and have them knock it down on that side. Those are different ways that you can use the, py the pyramid besides just rolling the ball towards it. But um, I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Um, have fun rolling the ball. Remember, we're not tossing it. We're rolling the ball on the floor toward our pyramid target. All right, everybody. Have a great day. Bye.